<laughs> Quick temperature check of the room. How do we feel about vampires? Like them, hate them, neutral? Okay, what about vampires who make YouTube videos talking about how women have ruined dating, marriage, and families in general? How do we feel about them then? We're a little, a little less into them, maybe? His name is Taylor the Fiend. He, as you can see, is a cartoon vampire. Makes a lot of videos, oftentimes sourcing clips from TikTok. Women talking about their dating experience. I don't care if your past is littered with dudes who treated you terribly. The fact of the matter is, is that you chose those men. Okay, you didn't stumble into a relationship. You, as a woman, you have choice. You have agency in the dating market. These are two things that men, by contrast, have very little of. Despite the fact that I think he and I are going to have a, a number of differences of opinion, I want to start off with a compliment for him. If you were to start a channel giving advice to men and you didn't want to show your face, what kind of avatar would you use? Probably something that's really masculine. What are things that are masculine? Sports, like a like an athlete. That would be a cool avatar. Or maybe instead of an athlete, you have you have uh, just spitballing here that two guys kissing. Because what's more masculine than two guys making out? Two men who really truly appreciates what it is to be a man. All right, just something to think about, Taylor. Right, next time you're if you recreate your avatar, rebrand a little bit. <laughs> he did rebrand. I made this video too soon. Hold on, hold on. He's now using this like VTuber technology. I've I've seen this on Twitch and YouTube, but I've only ever seen girls do it. They create like a cute anime girl, and then all the male viewers they come in and they get to have like an anime waifu girl that they get to interact with. I think you like feet. Here, let me step on you. Yeah, you like you like that? Huh? You like that, punk? You like that? I'm sure male creators have used like the VTuber technology seriously and not just as a joke, but I, I have never seen that. So it was pretty jarring to see the, the vampire come to life like this. No, okay, compliment. Compliment. I actually have a real compliment. You don't think vampires when you think masculinity typically. You think Edward, right? <laughs> this is his current avatar. I'm glad he updated it, to be frank, because this is what it used to look like. <laughs> <laughs> Got a vampire with eyeshadow, hair dye, lizard tongue, blood dripping out of your mouth. And you're like, this is gonna draw in so many viewers. But the updated one, the updated avatar looks good. Oh, and check out the alternate one he uses too. This little boy vampire. Drinking his coffee all snuggly, all happy, very ooh. -ooh. And this guy is talking about being masculine. I actually appreciate that. Because you could have chosen anything. And you're like, no, 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 I like this. Therefore, it's going to my channel. I don't care how people react to it. I think that's pretty cool. All right, now that the compliment section is over, <laughs> let's get into the real stuff. In general, he's doing pretty well for himself. If you look at the video views, anywhere between like 30 and 80,000 views, that's not bad. Unfortunately, it is a little bit of a, a dip because he used to get like in the ballpark of anywhere from 90 to 200,000 views in the first couple of days on his videos. The reason I know that is because I have a big, I have a big video about Red Pill and Manosphere that I've been absorbing, trying to understand it from all angles, and then I'm gonna make that video. Unfortunately for me, I've been saying that for about a year and I haven't put that together yet. <laughs> but here's one of the figures of the Manosphere. Woman says why men should pay for the first date. So let's take a listen. Today, we're going to be discussing why men should pay for the first date. This is somewhat controversial, right? Because there's uh, there's the idea of chivalry, and this is just the tradition. Guys pay for the first date. As we strive towards equality, is that really fair? A vampire is going to explain why men should not pay for the first dates. A little back and forth, a little interesting commentary. Yeah? Men and women should not be looked at as equal because they're simply not the same. On a human being level, yes. All humans possess the same value and deserve the same respect and opportunity. But two people in a relationship simply don't bring the same things to the table. Women want a man who exhibits masculine traits and men want a woman who exhibits feminine traits. Can you guys tell me if it is a feminine thing to do to sit down and record rants of yourself on TikTok being just generally obnoxious. Don't sit here and talk to me about femininity and masculinity when literally you're engaging in behaviors that personally I don't even consider to be anywhere close to feminine. I think he has a point. I think it's pretty unfeminine to be on social media. How dare you, women? What are you doing on the internet? Get off the internet, that's a man area. Paying shouldn't be done with the intention of expecting something in return. It's a sign of appreciating someone's time and clearly identifies that this is a date. It simply sets the foundation of respect. Is splitting the bill more fair, more right? What do you guys think? I would love to hear your opinion. I'll see what Vampire has to say about it. I didn't know you had to show respect to people uh, by paying for things for them simply because they're a woman, right? Like I don't respect my friends and like give them money or like pay f like i don't go out here with the idea of respect being that i have to open my wallet for people he started getting into the friend points which uh, i've heard him make several times if you've seen like maybe three of his videos you've seen all the videos essentially because it's like the same 20 talking points you'll hit 
like eight of them per video. And then that's all the talking points. And then it's just repeating every single video. But my question, of course, is, okay, you want into a man's wallet. You want to him to pay for things for you, all that kind of crap. What exactly do women bring to the table in 2022? Like, really, are you gonna, are you gonna delete your Instagram? No. You want me to pay for a date? Delete your social media. Fair right. trade. How do you have a worse point than hers? You had such a layup too. You had a layup argument. She said, women want to feel like their time is respected. That's why a man pays. That's why a man should pay. The guy in that situation, how does he feel respected? But instead you go into, wait, I'm, I'm a man. I'm expected to pay? And you want to use social media? First one here from Leon. All right, so these are the comments on this girl's TikTok that she made. Can you make a video of what a woman brings to the table with 854 likes? Fantastic. This is what I like to see. This is a big talking point in the red pill community. What does a woman bring to the table? I don't know what's so hard to figure out. What does a woman bring to the table? Do you want partnership? Do you want companionship? Do you want to kiss somebody? Do you want to bang somebody? Do you want to have a family? Yeah, it, these all require, I guess you could have a relationship with another man and adopt a kid. But for a straight man, you need a woman to do uh, pretty much all these things. That's not to get into the fact that like, uh, she's t typically more emotionally intelligent. She can help you problem solve. She can help you in other areas of your life. It's, it's nice to have someone to rely on, someone to lean on from time to time. What do women bring to the table? As if the world is just like, oh, man make money, women do nothing. That's not the world we live in, especially nowadays too. Because a lot of these red pill people, if they make it big, they have big audience, they start making a lot of money, they kind of forget what it's like to be middle class. Because in, when you're in middle class, having two incomes, is huge and it's almost a requirement if you want to have a house you want to go on any vacations have a decent car like these are all things that are going to require having um um, a two-income household. Of course, if you're making 100, 200, 300,000 selling courses on how to be a super alpha, you're gonna make a lot of money. You're gonna forget that you need someone else to uh, to help pay the bills and, and carry the weight of the family financially, you know? Next person here, Nick, with a cat profile picture says, it's always what women want and what not what men want. Yep. Yeah, sorry, not paying for a girl to take advantage of me. I'm not a simp. <laughs> The thing is that about 75% of women just want all the benefits and none of the responsibilities and have nothing to bring to the table. What happened to us being equal, says Cam. Loris here says, like 50 Cent said, whoever's idea was to go. So of course, the first comment that's just stupid is it's like a woman in the comments saying Loris. You gotta realize how you come across. A bunch of guys comment, you're like, best comments I've seen in a long time. And then he gets to a comment from a woman who's just reasonably like, yeah, maybe we should just... Whoever suggested the date, a pace for it as well. But he's like, da, 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 da. look at this woman giving her opinion. Dumbass Loris. How about you put down the hammer, Laura, and pick up a spatula? <laughs> I'm sorry. Let me say this to Miss Loris here who says, like 50 Cent said, whoever's idea was it to go on a date should be should pay. Uh, this is not true, okay? Because whenever I ask my friends out, not for a date, I don't pay for them. And if they ask me out, I don't ask, I don't expect them to pay for me. It's a completely different type of relationship that you have with your friends, unless you want to kiss your friends. Do you want to, do you want to kiss your friends? Like if my friends say, hey, you want to get a group together and you want to go to the movies, I don't expect the person who invited me to pay. That's true, but I also don't expect my friends to make a move on me. It's just different. Notice guys, how all of these other comments, right? They make sense. The first one that doesn't make sense is from a woman named Loris. Yep, yep. Look at all these guys making a total sense and then the woman comes in and ruins it. It's not even like an unreasonable comment. And he's like, no, no, no. She just ruined it. She's ruined the vibe. Fantastic work, Loris. You're an intellectual genius. <laughs> Hypergamous feminist with huge ego tries to play men for fools on TikTok. Ladies, you want to be in a happy relationship? There's only four things you need to do. One, find a man who'll make you laugh. Two, find a man who's cultured and will explore this world with you. Three, find a guy who's intellectual and ambitious and will support your ambitions. Four, of course, find a guy who's honest, trustworthy, and respectful. But most importantly, more important than any of that, ladies, is that you make sure that these four guys don't know each other. Yeah, what fantastic advice. You know, guys, this is the kind of crap uh, that men hear and they think to themselves, you know what? Why would I go out there and date these women? That didn't go over your head, right? Like, you understand that this is... Humor. Really more important than any of that, ladies, is that you make sure that these four guys don't know each other. Uh, there's no way you could take that seriously, right? Why would I go out there and get married to these women? Women that make jokes? My brain's gonna melt out of my ears. Is it, is it, no? If you thought that it was just this woman who thought like this, maybe she was like, you know, one of the crazy ones or whatever. She's not crazy and she doesn't think like this. It's humor. 
Dog. It has 10.7 thousand likes on the video. It has almost 400 comments and it is tagged with the hashtags relationships, advice for women and advice for girls. Yeah, I, I could hashtag my video as like, I worship Satan. That doesn't make it true. I mean, in this case it does because how do you think I got my YouTube following? My soul is gone. <laughs> I, it took me a long time to re really understand this guy because he does this where he'll cover uh, a TikTok of a woman making a joke. And then he'll ignore the fact that it's supposed to be humorous and just take it super seriously. And I didn't know if it was like going over his head, but then I found a video. So there's this woman here who makes jokes about being like a sugar baby. She's playing a character. Seemed pretty obvious. I didn't know if he was gonna get it. I think my sugar daddy might be broken because he hasn't taken me shopping in a very long time. Wait, how many times have I tell you about your sugar daddy and your boyfriend? So what I'm hearing here is that I'm being undercompensated for exclusivity rights. Okay, again, this is clearly a joke. I think she's- Ah, because so he knows. Name. It's clearly a joke. So he's able to comprehend this. Well, thank God, right? But get this, get that. He also says this though. Check this out. They just get comments like this all damn day for saying absolute clown stuff. Like, again, I don't see the appeal in jokes. Maybe you guys do, but I don't see the appeal in jokes. Ha! I'm not cutting out context either. Like he's just saying broadly. I don't understand why people laugh. Why do people make jokes? Why do you go ha ha ha? What are you trying? Are you trying to heat up the air in front of you? <laughs> It's like, how do you explain laughter to somebody who doesn't like to laugh? Anytime a girl says something like, oh, you know, a man that can make me laugh is so important, right? It, it's like, it's painful for my ears to listen to, guys, because it's- Because, because it's, he hates humor. <laughs> I don't know why on earth men are out here trying to make women laugh. He really doesn't get it. They might not have humor in Transylvania, but in the rest of the world, it's like an expression of joy. Unconscious. It's just like, it comes out of you. Oftentimes you can't control it. Sometimes you laugh even when you don't think something's funny. It's, it's called a pity laugh. I need to point that out because you'll see that in my audience a lot. Okay, what are we supposed to do? Like, we're not out here trying to be like these clowns to make these women laugh to get them to like us, guys. It is pathetic. <laughs> it's pathetic. <laughs> okay, like, oh yeah, I'm gonna tell some jokes and then maybe she'll like me. And this is the some of the crap that women sell to men, right? It's like, oh, I like funny guys. No, you don't, okay? <laughs> Funniness, like, you know, being funny is so low ranked on what these women actually look for. It's not even funny. I think a guy that's funny is high ranked on women's lists. Attractive is at the very, very top, you know, and a guy being funny is like basically non-existent. Man, you can't say that. You can't not be funny and then be like, like women don't like funniness. Also, women don't like me. I, I don't see the correlation. <laughs> Three, find a guy who's intellectual and ambitious and will support your ambitions. Yeah, because rather than be a strong and independent woman, uh, like a lot of these women say that they are, what better way to show your strong and independence uh, by getting men to pay for crap for you? Well, I'm sorry? Why did she say anything about men paying for her? Did she? Well, let's listen again. Three, find a guy who's intellectual and ambitious and will support your ambitions. Support your ambitions. So he heard support your ambitions and he's like, oh God, I gotta fund her small business idea. Is that the, is that the thought that went through his head? These girls are not interested in learning business, okay? Like they're not interested in actually putting in the hard yards of growing their business. Yeah, women, women, they're not good at business. They can't think about business. They just don't have the brains for it. You say women don't want to put in hard work. So like no, no woman's ever succeeded in business. Is that what you're arguing here? All they see is they're, they're like, yeah, I want the CEO positions, you know, the really nice cushy jobs. These girls don't want to be bricklayers, okay? They don't want to be plumbers. They don't want to be electricians. They don't want to be, you know, construction workers. They just want those cushy jobs at the high, you know, they're strong and independent until they realize that they're running out of time. And then it's like, oh crap, I need a dude to do this stuff for me and to travel the world with me. To lay bricks? Wait, how did, <laughs> it's like jumping to random different points. Women don't want to be bricklayers and you want to travel the world? How does that make any sense? Wait, 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 do I gotta bricklay first? to become a CEO and then I travel? For of course, find a guy who's honest, trustworthy and respectful. The most important- uh, Yes, more attributes that you really couldn't care less about. Yeah, women don't care about honesty, trustworthiness or respectfulness. How do you say that with a straight face and not think like, maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm bitter, maybe I'm not thinking clearly. All of this talk of like virtues and have you guys ever noticed how girls will like, they'll set out a list, right? They'll say like all this stuff that they want in a relationship, like he's got to be the complete package, but all the dudes that they end up with have the complete opposite characteristics to anything on that list. That's not true. That's not true. Wait, more important than any of that ladies is that you make sure that these four guys don't know each other. Yeah, very funny. And you know, that's fantastic advice to be throwing around when you're over 30 years of age, because I'm sure that won't result in you being single for a very, very possibly indefinite uh, long amount of time. <laughs> <laughs> He's so bitter. Worse than all this is that an army is forming with this man, this vampire's at the head and uh, other supernatural creatures are at the heel. Make sure that you subscribe on your way in and don't forget to subscribe to our newest member of Fiend Gang, Detective Warg. Guys, he's going to be pumping out daily con- <laughs> Fiend Gang. <laughs> I don't want to hear anyone laugh at Troublemaker or Boogie ever again. The Fiend Gang? <laughs>
I think he's a werewolf. I don't want to pick on him because he's he's a smaller creator just starting out, right? My general advice to uh, the detective here <laughs> is uh, don't follow don't follow the vampire as your lead. But frankly, I think he's a little bit lucky with the algorithm and the timing. I think that's a little bit why he got his audience. Also, his audience is dwindling, and I think uh, we'll talk about that in a little bit. His editor started a channel as well, so this one. Oh wait, did he stop? He stopped. Yeah, I think he's like a mummy. His hands are wrapped. I don't know. I think he's like a cursed pharaoh, or I don't. I don't know what creatures we're dealing with here. But it's the same format. TikTok animated creature. That's not animated. It's just it's in cartoon. I want to know what be absolute. Jesus Christ! Maybe focus on the audio of your videos a little bit. So take for example. Nope, she'll give you credit for neither and still blame me for everything that goes wrong. That's about the voice I was expecting. <laughs> Maybe it's the microphone. Maybe it's the microphone. It's the microphone. Listen, 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 hold on. I've seen dozens upon dozens of this guy's videos. Not once, ever, have I seen him compliment a woman. Which is especially crazy because I've seen him react to clips of women who hit all of his talking points. They're anti-feminist, pro-man, but just because the woman says it, he says, Oh, no, 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 guys. She's a chameleon. She's just trying to infiltrate our space. Don't let her. It comes across as paranoid. It comes across as sexist. So if I was this guy, I would focus less on revamping your avatar and focus more on having an open mind and treating women more fairly in their arguments. Acknowledge your own biases and then engage fairly. That's all I'd say. I love listening to people I disagree with. It helps me sharpen my own arguments. My only problem is when you're so deeply steeped within your own biases, you can't make out heads from tails. It just diminishes your other arguments because you come across as and unrational. All right, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. <laughs>